So my name is Elicio Jimenez. I go by Eli. Um, I'm originally from Hillsdale, Michigan. Um, I served in the Marines from 1998 to 2006. I was in the Marine Reserve, stationed in Battle Creek, Michigan, and I was part of the 6th Engineer Support Battalion. We were part of the engineer crew, so what we did, we made roads, purified water, did electricity, washed clothes. I actually did a laundry service, so anything for base sustainment, uh, we did all those pieces. So anything you need to live the luxury of camp middle of nowhere, Iraq, we did all that stuff. So. So we were to be deployed for Operation Enduring Freedom. This is before that Iraq war started. This was back in uh, January, actually. And so we actually got over to Kuwait in February. And so we were there training for a month uh, before the Operation Iraqi Freedom actually started. We went through the whole war before we even knew it was Operation Iraqi Freedom. And so we didn't know that until after we got back to California that it was actually a new name. So under the flag that we went under was Operation Enduring Freedom. So. Yeah. So we started in Kuwait, and then we went up to Iraq during the whole invasion piece. Um, interesting piece there too, and then we were stationed in El Kut at an Air Force base there for the rest of my time. So we stayed there. I was in Camp Leatherneck and Camp Viper. So being in Kuwait, stationed in Kuwait, was actually really interesting because we were middle of nowhere Kuwait. We had the guards around us. We had berms built up around us, so we think about any football stadium, you have the field and you have the stadiums around you. That was, we were protected by sand. Just bulldozer brought up the berm and that was it for us. Um, it was Kuwait, so it wasn't as bad. And um, it was kind of fun because we got to go to the um, Camp Doha and Army, because Army has all the good stuff. So we actually got to go and eat ice cream one time, so it was a treat for us, even though it was melting by the time we got it. But it was fun. Um, but we, basically it was just us to get ready. So we spent a month getting all our equipment ready, fixing things that were broken on the way over. Um, and then we kind of just waited at the border until we were told to go. So until that starting gun went off. So my experience going into Iraq wasn't as fun as the TV show. There's a lot of the, the military always says, hurry up and wait. That's what we did a lot of the times. I remember we were, the gun went off and we still had to wait for 24 hours because we had to get our official orders to go over there and we couldn't just run over across the border all willy nilly. And so that, that was interesting because we were expecting just to go, as you see in the TV shows and the movies, just guns ablaze to just go across. And so for us, we had to, and the biggest mission for us really was to clear landmines um, in the roads because they expected for the Iraqi army to put all landmines on the major roads. So that's why every little bit, every little bit had to go and be secured before we actually move forward. So it took a long time to get over there. Um, so that was the pieces. The most interesting part of that was the, for the public and for the news, they didn't want us to look like invaders. And so we had, you know, as, as patriarch as we are, had American flags up on our vehicles. We were told that everyone had to take them down. So we couldn't be an American invading force. We just had to be a, a, joint, a joint national invading force kind of thing. So that was really interesting for us uh, to see those pieces. My best time for the Marines was every day I got to be with my Marines. You don't really experience the, the brotherhood piece unless you, I mean, I think war really kind of projects it like, a bullet train 060, you may meet a guy for the first time before you deploy, but you're best friends. I mean, four days in deployment. I mean, for me, being with people I served with probably was, every day was the best day for me. I think for me, probably what people, I would like people to know about me is, is I did everything for the right reason. I never, I always put people first, other people first, myself second, third, or fourth. I think that's kind of, for me, that's what I lived by. My grandfather taught me that. Um, and I hope that my kids, future-wise, they would kind of keep that same mentality as put people first, put yourself second or third, because the bigger picture is beyond you. So that's just for me, I think.